Our final speaker is a super cool human resources professional. She loves volunteering, traveling, and nachos. She is also the HR director and incoming vice curator of Global Shapers Calgary Hub. Welcome to the stage, Cassidy Smith. I'm always never sure where I fit on the youth or adult spectrum, and I think by calling myself super cool, I put myself permanently in the adult category. Woo! <laughs> All right. I came out of the womb and there was glitter and rainbows. The doctor looked at my parents with excitement and said, it's a lesbian. <laughs> From that moment on, my parents knew exactly what to expect for their gay little baby girl. If only there was no need to come out. My parents had a lot of expectations for me, as parents do, and their intentions were always good. I just realized that it wasn't what I wanted for myself. My parents had a vision. I would marry a wealthy Christian man, we'd have kids, and I spent years trying to live out their expectations without thinking much of it. Their expectations were driven by Christian conservative beliefs, but I could only pretend to live in their bubble for so long. For my next chapter, I had to challenge the expectations that they put on me and create my own expectations for myself. But at that point, it just seemed easiest to conform to the dream that they had set out for me. I dated boys, I was in long-term relationships. We talked about marriage and our future, what church we would attend and how many kids we'd have, and maybe it felt right. I was trying to puzzle piece together how I fit into my parents' plan, but I just wish someone told me to take a minute and figure out what I wanted for myself. But I was fed what my future would be, so I didn't think much of it. I knew what would bring my parents happiness, and it terrified me to think of challenging that. I wanted my parents to be effortlessly proud of me. I wanted them to be excited for me to experience every chapter in life and to fall in love. Instead, I started dating boys. I was maybe 18, I was dating this boy for a while, and I remember one distinct night. It was a turning moment in realizing that something was off. My boyfriend turns around, ass naked, with his penis tucked between his legs, and he says, ooh, I'm a pretty girl. And all I could think about was, fuck, I wish. <laughs> Flash forward four years and I met a girl. Things felt good, it felt right. But I was constantly weighed down with this feeling that it was wrong. This was not what my parents wanted. I was, I debated about how much easier it would be to date boys. And I was 22. It felt like I was past the coming out years of my life. I didn't want to accept it, and my fear of my parents' reaction encouraged me not to accept it. I would pace alone in my house trying to say, I'm lesbian. It felt awkward. I didn't look gay, whatever that meant, and I knew no one in the queer community. I was always told that it was wrong. I tried to put it aside and imagine what life would be like letting my parents become my puppeteers. Every Sunday sitting at church with my husband and kids, and for some that would be great. But when I met this girl, I started to realize how unhappy I would be conforming to my parents' dreams. I am an atheist and I wanted a wife. If I ignored everything, I knew it would only be a temporary solution. Why was I even debating about sacrificing my own happiness? After a while, I was finally able to say, I am a lesbian. When I told my friends, they couldn't have been more supportive. And I finally started to accept that I am in control of my own life. I had to come out to my parents though. It was always assumed I date boys. I would basically need to tell them that their vision for me was never going to happen. It seemed impossible to imagine, but I couldn't pretend to be content living their dream anymore. I worked hard to accept who I was and my parents could not take that away from me. I wanted to get to know who I was. On my happiest days, I reflected on what made me so excited to live life my way. I felt like I was starting such a big chapter in my life and I needed to figure out what that meant. It also, taking the time, also realize, helped me to realize how much happier I was accepting that I was gay. I was confused and felt alone in all of this. I needed love more than anything and I needed my friends by my side while nothing made sense to me. I reflected on who was genuinely supportive of me, who encouraged me to let go of these labels and create a safe space for me to just be myself and figure out what happiness meant for me. 
I recognize that it's not easy. I tried not to be too hard on myself or expect too much of myself too quickly. I needed to take the time for myself and for Everyone's my mental like health. Hot. I tried to reflect on lessons along the way. I knew I wasn't going to please everyone, so I had to put my well-being first while I figured out what this meant to me. Eventually, the time came to come out to my parents. I practiced over and over in my head how it would go, what they would say, how they would react, would they be surprised, and long story short, I would have been better off cutting my hair into a stereotypical lesbian cut, dyeing it multiple colors, and coming home from university with a shirt that said, I'm gay. I went through a whirlwind of emotions. I isolated myself, and at times I hated my parents. Although my parents are loving people, it felt like they were putting their beliefs before love. To this day, they, have, they still struggle with accepting it, and they have yet to approve. But what I know is that I had to put myself first. When I think about next, I think about this bumpy process of figuring out who I am. But when I figured it out, it was a beautiful thing, and I wouldn't change anything about the journey. I knew in order to be happy, I had to challenge the expectations that my parents have put on me. I know now that my happiness is a priority, then and now. With the next version of myself, I embraced being in charge of my happiness. <laughs> I sought out therapy, I opened up to friends I trusted, and I changed how I approach my relationship with my parents. I owed it to myself to invest in the relationships with loved ones who loved every part of who I am. Coming out was the best thing I could have ever done, but it was fucking brutal at times. We all go through a journey, journey of figuring out who we are and we experience it so differently. You have to put yourself first and push through boundaries that feel untouchable. You deserve to live life the way that you want to live it. If you ask me what my expectations are of myself are, some days I'm still figuring it out. But what I know is that I'm happier than I've ever been. I have a vision for myself that's exactly what I want, and I'm gonna spend the rest of my life with a woman who I love, who, who showers me with love, and is the kindest, most beautiful human. This is my next. <laughs>